Welcome to part four of my slasher films, and we're going to start with the Pakistani slasher film, Hell's Ground. This one is great, so it's the very first Pakistani splatter slasher film. Um, and it's about a group of teenagers that are going to a um, some kind of party, and where a band's playing and they go to this on their way there they end up going to this like weird type village and the village is stalked by some weird man in a burqa and he goes around killing people with this big like I don't know what you call them it's like a bull with spikes on it on the end of a chain and this has also got zombies in it, but I didn't know which one to put it in, zombies or slasher, and, but the main character in this is a slasher killer, so I put it in with the slasher films, and it says on the box, it says, Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets Dawn of the Dead, a mega splattery zombie strewn slasher flick. And yeah, I really like this one. It was very good. If you if you like films with subtitles, other films with subtitles, then check this one out. It's great stuff. I'll show you the back. There ain't really much to see. There's a guy turning into a zombie there. A girl here in the red looking really scared. Um it's not got some it's got some decent features, special features on it as well. But yeah, if you definitely if you like subtitled horror films then definitely check this out. I think it's well done for the budget that it was on. Yeah, great stuff. Now this next one is the forgotten classic Slaughter High, the uncut version, and this is by Lionsgate's Lost Collection. And this was the very first go that a British British production team had at making a slasher film and I know this has got quite a big fan base everybody loves it, it's a cult film I didn't really think much to it, there was some inventive kills in it but the acting was poor I know in all slasher films the acting is poor but I thought it was really poor in this one and this is the same type of thing um, a kid gets bullied at school by his classmates and then later on in life he gets the class back together by sending them notes saying oh it's a reunion and everybody turns up at the school which has been shut down but they all get in and they all start getting killed off one by one they've kept the great artwork for the front cover with the skeleton and the apple I'll show you the back ain't much to see this is the guy that gets bullied is called Marta and two of his two of the people that bully him and then there's some of the people that have come back for the reunion yeah um, I think a lot of you will have seen this one um, if you want then check it out but don't expect too much now this next one is in a, in a double set and it's Silent Night Deadly Night and Silent Night, Night, Deadly Night Part 2. The first film I loved, it was great, it's about a young kid that's scared of Santa Claus and he's driving home from seeing his granddad in a mental like home and a man that's dressed up as Santa Claus kills, or he kills his whole family off but before he kills his mom he rapes her and he robs them and the young lad gets away but now he's got, he's really uptight about Santa Claus, he hates it, he hates Christmas and then he's working at a shop later on in life and the shop owner gets him to play Santa Claus for the kids so he dresses up as Santa Claus and it pushes him over the edge and then he starts on a killing spree this is a great great slasher film I loved it to death, good stuff um, part two I'm not too sure about, I haven't seen it but I know that the young lad, I think it's his br younger brother, I think he, he escapes as well because he was only a baby and the guy didn't 
the guy dressed up in Santa Claus suit in the first one didn't kill him for some reason. Um, so he grows up, and I think he carries on the deadly spree when he grows up. I'm not too sure about that, but that's what I think it says. That's what I can make out on the back, even though it's in German. <laughs> I'll show you the back. There's, I know you can't see, but there's the young lad that goes round killing in Silent Night, Deadly Night. And in part two, there's a picture of a guy being strangled by some Christmas lights. This is great stuff. Definitely check this one out. I really liked it. It's in my top ten slasher films, definitely. This next one, I know is a big favourite of everybody out there and it's The Burning and this is about um, a camp like in Friday the 13th that type of summer camp and the camp caretaker is getting bullied by the kids at the camp and they set a trick up where they put a, a skull a fake skull with candles in it in its eyes to make it burning they put it outside of his bed and then wake him up and he gets scared, knocks it over, and sets fire to the whole building and ends up getting horribly disfigured. Um, and then, after a few years um, of being in the hospital, the skin grafts don't take, so he's horribly disfigured for life and he ends up going back to kill off kids at the camp. Everybody calls this a Friday the 13th rip-off, but it was released after Friday the 13th, but I think this was made or well into making it before Friday the 13th even were thought of. So yeah, I know a lot of people like this better than Friday the 13th. I like it a lot too. I'll show you the back. There isn't nothing to see really. So on to the next one, but definitely, definitely check this one out if you've never seen this one. It's top stuff. This next one is called Madman, and this is about a group of kids and like some adults that go to this same type of in the woods type thing, and they all sat around the campfire telling ghost stories and stuff, and one of them brings it up about this guy called Madman Mars, and if you say his name louder than a whisper, and he hears you, then he comes back to kill. Um, he looks very horrible, this slasher guy, Madman Mars. He looks like a hillbilly type farmer with dungarees on, long grey hair. His face looks horrible as hell. I'll show you the back. There's a severed head on the ground, a shadow of Madman Mars. And yeah, it's a great, great slasher film, this. Also, probably in my top ten slasher films. So, yeah, another one to definitely check out if you get the chance. If you have already checked it out, then let me know what you think. It's great stuff. There's not that much gore in it, but there's still a nice little bit to keep you going if you're a gore fan. But, yeah, it's got some scary suspense stuff in this as well. And there's a nice and famous scene where there's a head under the under the hood of a car. Looks very gruesome. Yeah, but definitely check this one out as well. This next one is one of my favourite slasher films and it's Maniac featuring the late great Joe Spinell. And this is about a guy that is a serial killer and he goes around um, not beheading girls. He's like scouts and takes the hair off them and the scalp after he's killed them. Um, there's some great special effects in this. Um, the special effects are done by the great Tom Savina. Um, and there's also a good bit where Tom also stars in the film and Joe Spinell's character jumps on the, the hood of, his, of Tom Savini's car and shoots a double barrel shotgun into his head and it shows you his head obliterate as the bullets hit it. Brilliant stuff. I have got the uncut Anchor Bay tin of this, but I'm just showing you the cut British Anchor Bay version. Great 
art on the front. Show you the back. Um, there's the guy who um, Joe Spinell plays. And this is directed by one of my favourite directors, William Lustig. He does a great job in this one, as in the other slasher films that he's done that you'll see in later instalments of my slasher films. But yeah, thanks a lot. Check out part five.